What it's like to be knocked off your feet by a 100 kilograms fish just a few minutes ago. The brothers were just trying to clear the river of water hyacinth because these things travel very fast. It's a natural enemy of the agricultural environment. Just as the two men were netting the water hyacinth into a corner, a miraculous scene occurred. A two meter long giant bony tonguefish suddenly emerged from the water. The next second, another one. What kind of amazing ditch is this? It could be hiding such a huge thing. First they brought the water hyacinth to shore. Then they bring in a large net, each holding one end tightly, ready to encircle the whole gully. Just as they crossed the bridge, a giant bony tonguefish leapt up. It hit his brother Jack right in the chest. Jack slowly approached the shore with his chest covered. He then collapsed onto the bank in pain. Paul rushed to check Jack's injuries, adjusting to the situation. They continued their encirclement. The net was filled with water hyacinth. There was no sign of the big fish. The three men haul the net ashore, but Jack won't go ashore. He insisted on catching the hit and run. Paul Paul had to bring back the net. The fish was frightened. The fish was scared and went to hide. They had to come back the next day. Paul pulled the net down the river first. Jack recalled the scene from yesterday. Suddenly a little scared. They changed tactics to wrap up vertically. Jack slowly tightens his net on the bank. He is afraid to re-enter the river. Paul pulling the net ashore too. They didn't catch the culprit. Instead, they've caught a few carp the size of the palm of your hand. It seems that a 200-pound fish is not that easy to catch.